During this coming year, we'll continue to explore information visualization. We feel that the greatest gains to be made in personal computer applications and graphic user interfaces will come from a thorough understanding of how to best use the remarkable human perceptual capabilities. Gutenberg's invention of printing 500 years ago dramatically changed politics, economics, religion, and daily life in many ways. Since that time, the trickle of what we call information has grown into a river, and some say a flood. But I'm no longer afraid of the flood. I believe that we are beginning to create powerful computerized tools that enable us not only to control the flood, but to harness it for beneficial purposes. The key is the computer's capacity for rapid search and animated visual display of results. With proper user interface design, users can engage their remarkable perceptual abilities to absorb large amounts of information. This turns the computer into a telescope and a microscope for viewing complex data. We've applied direct manipulation visual display concepts in projects dealing with real estate information, sports statistics, health data, computer directories. We've also looked at the problem of searching in libraries for books, scientific articles, and films. Finding a good film to watch is often a matter of hit or miss recollection. Video stores attempt to organize their titles by topics. And while it's fun to browse the shelves, it's not an effective way to find a film by date, by actor, or director. Our solution to the film finder problem depends on three concepts. Dynamic queries, star field display, and tight coupling to organize the user's actions. Chris Alberg demonstrates how these concepts are applied to the film finder problem. The film finder allows users to explore a large film database. People usually find films by walking around in a video store, while browsing film ads in the paper, by asking friends, by using a film encyclopedia, or perhaps by using a computer program such as Microsoft Cinemania. The tool we have developed is called Film Finder. The Film Finder can be used to quickly locate, browse, or scan information about thousands of films. Films are presented in a star field. Each category of films has its own color, drama red, mystery blue, etc. New films are on the right, popular films on the top. With the category buttons, we can select a subset of the films. We can zoom in to a particular part of the display we're interested in. When there are few enough movies in the display, the film titles show up. We can select films of a particular length using a double box slider for range selection. For selecting alphanumeric attributes, we can use our new alpha slider widget. It consists of three parts, a textual output, an index to the slider data, and the actual slider. By letting users select from a coarse and a fine movement part of the slider thumb, the slider can operate over as many as 10,000 elements. The alpha slider allows us to select the films by, for example, a certain director, say Ingmar Bergman. Imagine we want to find something like a drama, action, or a mystery. The alpha sliders are updated when the categories are selected to only include those titles, actors, etc. that fall under the selected categories. While browsing, we see Sean Connery and decide we want to see a movie with him. We're only interested in his most popular and recent films, so we zoom in. The Medicine Man might be a good one. Let us select it. Oh, we realize that we already seen this one, so to find something similar, we select the director and Sean Connery in the info card. Notice how the alpha sliders are updated. And when we close the info card, the query result is updated to only include the movies directed by John McTiernan and starring Sean Connery. Output suddenly becomes input. We find The Hunt for Red October, obviously a new and popular film, so we decide we want to watch it. 
Our experience during the past three years has led to a new set of information-seeking principles. These begin with the dynamic queries approach to filtering information by adjusting sliders, buttons, or other widgets to form a complex query. Second is the star field display, which takes two ordinal variables from a relational database and displays the entire set of records as multicolored points of light. This enables the user not only to view, but to manipulate the entire database in one screen. The third concept is tight coupling among the components of the display. The users can adjust the parameters on the input or the output to select the information they want. They begin with an overview, zoom in on areas of interest, and then can select details on demand. The film finder is just a start. It needs to be expanded to include more data and more varied kinds of information. But I do believe it provides an attractive example of how these new technologies will enable us to harness the flood of information.